Welcome back, dear traders, to another episode of the Indicator Identificator. Today we're going to have a closer look at the SSL indicator, how it performs, how it looks like and how to use it. Let's go. As usual, we are backtesting this indicator like crazy at the EURUSD, the AUD and SETI and the Euro Great British Pound. At the 50 minute chart, we're going back three months and the four hour chart, we're going back one year and we are targeting 100 trades. In order to use this indicator, just click on it and type in SSL and we're going to use this SSL channel here from Irvin. Just click on it and add it to your chart. And this is what it looks like, really easy, really straightforward. It's a two line cross indicator. You get two lines, a green one, a red one. And every time the green one is crossing the red line upwards, that's a signal for a buy. And every time the red line is crossing the green line upwards, that's a signal for a short. We are not tweaking the settings on this one. We just leave it on default settings, which are 10 and 10 here. Pretty easy. Close it and that's your setup. Now let's go over the entry rules. Let's zoom in a little bit. And you can, you can enter a trade if there is a new signal and the candle after the signal just right about this one that's your trigger candle you just put a buy trade here and you're gonna put your stop loss just below the swing low here and we are targeting for the back testing one to one risk reward ratio just like that and as you can see this trade would have been an awesome win Let's check out another example, just the one behind it. This one is the short signal. As you can see, the red line is crossing the green line upwards. So we are going to place a short trade here at the close of our trigger candle. And we are placing our stop loss at the recent swing high. If you're gonna have a really long wick, just like here, you can place the stop loss just straight here as well and we are going to target a one to one risk reward ratio so just let's do it like this and as you can see this trade would have been a loss our stop loss would have been triggered here there's another kind of ssl indicator i want to show you quickly that's the ssl off chart you might find this one better, but it's just up to you. It's basically exactly the same indicator, the same SSL, but it's not in your main chart, not at your main candlesticks. And um, additionally, it shows you where to enter exactly. So where your trigger candle is, just at this arrow right about here. And yeah, the default settings are the same. It's here on 10. So you can use it if you want to. This is up to you guys. Let's jump straight into the back testing. It took me several hours to make it, so um, I will run it 50 times the normal speed, uh, but you can skip it to about minute six and a half. There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erased So catch me if I fall Our first day, you're so fine, I'm so late, you sip wine, 
There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall After hours and hundreds of back testings, these are our final results. The SSL performs at the EuroUSD a little bit better at the 15 minute chart, but the audio to NZD and the EuroGBP are clearly better at the 4 hour chart. So, in total, the SSL performs better at the 4 hour chart and at the higher time frames as well, with a 52% win rate at the 4 hour chart and with a 48.7% win rate at the 50 minute chart. It's not bad for a confirmation indicator without any other indicators as well. Let's jump in the chart back again and I want to show you some real important things. So back at the chart I want to show you the weakness from the SSL indicator and that is when a huge candle appears. Just kind of like here it flips very short. Here another example one big candle and the SSL indicator flips short and here it flips long and straight after this long candle it flips short again and those trades are really eating your profits and we need to avoid those. In trending markets however or when a trending market is about to start it performs pretty well and pretty early just like this you could have get all of those pips straight about here and even if the trade is a little bit against um, the next candle our take profit or our stop loss would have saved us here from this loss and uh, we would have gotten all of those pips. At the end let's have a quick look on our leaderboard. The Vortex is still placed number one at the 15 minute as well as at the 4 hour chart. With an unbelievable 57.21% it performs pretty well at higher time frames. The SSL is placed number two. Not too bad but I think we can find better ones. That's it for today's video. Goodbye.